Welcome to another amazing episode of OTR Performance's Tableside Chat. I'm your host, Jameson Kern, and today we will be explaining what an SA16DTC fault code means for a Volvo Mack truck. SA16DTC explained means OBD P codes. Which trucks use OBD fault codes? Volvo trucks 2014 and above, Mack trucks 2014 and above, Prevost bus 2014 and above. Here is a look at some fault codes that you may have seen on your dashboard. The following information is on a 2015 Volvo VNL 670 with a Volvo 500 horsepower D13 engine with iShift. Fault number one, SA16 DTC P113000. SA stands for source address. In this particular example, the 16 stands for the engine. So this fault code is coming from the engine ECU. DTC stands for diagnostic trouble code. P stands for powertrain. 1130 stands for after treatment hydrocarbon air purge valve. 00 stands for stuck closed. This is the system failure mode that sets this fault. Fault number two, SA16DTC-P20EE00. SA stands for source address. In this particular example, the 16 stands for the engine. So this fault code is coming from the engine ECU. DTC stands for diagnostic trouble code. P stands for powertrain. 20EE stands for NOx catalyst conversion efficiency low. 00 stands for below the threshold. This is the failure mode that sets this fault. This OBD monitor is designed to determine the DEF efficiency as calculated by using the inputs of the commanded DEF and the two NOx sensors located upstream and downstream of the NOx catalyst. Take a look at the inlet outlet NOx sensor location and make sure they are not damaged. Good NOx sensors can eliminate a lot of false positives on the SCR system. The inlet NOx sensor is located before your DOC slash DPF system and the outlet NOx sensor is located after your SCR system. A defective SCR operation can cause the most dreaded service death vehicle speed limited to five miles per hour. If this happens, you need to clear the SCR D rate with the dealer level tool, or use the reset tool by OTR Performance. The reset tool will remove the D rate message off the instrument panel and will allow you to drive past five miles per hour. You can have no active codes and still be derated to five miles per hour. So now you may be asking yourself, what is a good resource for checking fault codes? We recommend using truckfaults.com. This free website can be used by everyone who has an internet service. Once you're on the truckfaults.com website, you just enter your fault codes into the search bar and boom, instant detail about the fault code you currently have. Thank you for watching this thrilling episode of OTR's Tableside Chat. I'm your host, Jameson Kern, and keep on trucking.